weekend. Uh, first of all, who came up with the concept for a rock camp for girls? Um, the original concept was uh, by a group of women in Portland, Oregon, in the States. Um, it started in 2001. And the idea, I think, soon spread. Uh, Kate Nash is responsible for hosting a bunch of them in the UK. And uh, so I think Zara Sor is a pretty well-known figure in um, in the radio scene and the independent music scene as a driver of independent music in, in, in Dubai. And uh, this was originally her idea to bring it here. Um, from what she's told me, she found this really, really interesting book about uh, how to start a rock camp for girls in anywhere. Mm. And um, she got really inspired to start a camp here. So she paired up with Rasha Omer, who's also a pretty well-known figure in the scene. And together they've uh, been propelling this, this, uh, this event. It's a fantastic idea. It's also very bold to do something like that in the United Arab Emirates, where it does seem that the whole music scene is really, especially the rock scene, is completely dominated by men. Um, I think that's where Rasha was coming from. She's uh, said that, you know, for her, it she wants to get to a point where seeing women in music is completely normal, that, you know, it should arrive at a point where this isn't interviewable at all because it's so it's so normal. I see. So yeah. it wouldn't be a remarkable concept. But at the at moment, all. is there actually any women involved in the rock music scene in the in the UAE? There is actually. There's there's quite a few. Um, two of them are going to be mentors in this camp. Um, Fataniza is quite. She's she's been doing really really well for herself. She's enormously famous in Colombia, her her where she's from, and also here in the UAE and the Middle East. And she's if you've ever been to one of her performances, she's. She's, I mean, there's nothing under rock about her. She's super, super charged, very energetic and incredible with the audience. And um, another woman who used to be in her band, actually, uh, is a drummer, which is something you definitely don't see very often enough, at least. Um, uh, Franchita Dor- Dorbado, I think is her last name, excuse me. Yeah, so she's a drummer. And both of them will be mentors in this program. I will talk about the mentoring in a moment. But I was uh, discussing with the breakfast show presenter from Abu Dhabi Classic FM a little bit earlier on. He was uh, I was telling him that you were coming on to the program and he was telling me about this uh, artist that is on YouTube called Tina S, who's getting millions and millions of hits, who basically is a rock guitarist, 14 years of age and does classical music covers. So basically we'll do Vivaldi in a rock guitar style. And I was saying to him, you know, it's like, it doesn't matter what kind of genre of music uh, you're playing. Um, it's vitally important that the building blocks are all come from the same source and be it classical music, hip hop, rock. So discussing something like a rock group a rock camp for girls, which is uh, being set up next week, is no different to talking about a classical music group, really, when it comes down to it. It's all Absolutely. about performance. It's mm-hmm. all about uh, creating that confidence inside you, isn't it? I think so. Um, I'm not somebody who really believes in, in, in genre boundaries in the first place, um, partially because I've never been able to uh, explain what my music style is. <laughs> um, so I... and. There's so much blending going on. There's so much experimentation because the tools um, are s- and the technologies has become so accessible. So there's just a lot more experimentation. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't see a difference definitely between teaching anybody um, this genre or that genre. However, there is it is to be said that I think rock music has always been pretty tied in with a certain kind of attitude of rebelliousness, mm. yes. which is what we're kind of keying into. Absolutely. Talking about uh, the way you got into your songwriting, um, you mentioned that you're not quite sure <laughs> what genre you fit into. So where did everything get uh, started with you? Uh, really late. Um, I started uh, playing music kind of from scratch when I was about 24. Wow. Uh, which is pretty late mm. uh, to start. And it, I, I got really lucky being uh, being able to perform at open mics and having people respond to the music positively, which led me to perform in slightly bigger venues. So I've been writing songs for a really, really long time, which I think is the reason that I'm able to perform them without having such a huge experience of, of, of performing. And um, yeah, I just know that I wish that I'd had this kind of outlet when I was younger because I was messing around a bit with music, but not. I didn't really have an environment to sink my teeth into. And also the whole open mic scene has only really kind of exploded or, or even started about six years ago in Dubai and mm-hmm. is also now catching on in Abu Dhabi. But re- recent history, really, isn't it? 
It's really important for uh, any any platform that there are, for any scene that it's important that there are experimentation platforms where people can critique and respond to the experiments and say that well that's a, that's a successful experiment that's a failed one, um, and that's exactly what open mic mics are. I mean. It would be so amazing if after this camp we could lead on to creating kind of a regular open mic feature for teenage girls. You know, um, that's a great idea. I just thought of that now. <laughs> <laughs> note to self, yeah, note tick to that box and uh, we will uh, think about that whilst we play a bit of music. And we'll talk more about the actual rock camp next. This is she from Charles Aznavour. You're listening to Abu Dhabi Classic FM this morning with me, Andrew Hosey. Just gone at 20 past 11, speaking to Noosh Like Sploosh, animator, singer, songwriter, independent musician, and now mentor at the first ever rock camp for girls, which is starting next weekend here in Dubai. How did you get involved in the project? Um, I've known Zara Sor, whose idea this is uh, this first was, um, for a while. She gave me my first break in uh, music out here by uh, allowing me to be on her radio show. And um, yeah, so she gave me a call and said, hey, uh, I've got this idea. You want to try it out? And I said, yeah, I'm in. You know, uh, sounds 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 like something I wish I'd had. So yeah. And I kind of just, we've just had meetings and she's been doing a lot of the work for it mm. um you know uh we've just as as a mentor we've just been sort of creating the content while she's been doing everything else logistically and so obviously it's quite a logistical project <laughs> to get sorted to ensure that there's the the teachers there mm-hmm. also getting the applications out and ready and sorted so it's all starting next weekend and uh whereabouts is it actually taking place it's taking at the tone town studios um which is in alcuz in alcuz 3 and the exact location is probably best found by either calling or checking out our website, which is Dubai Rock Camp UAE. Uh, sorry, that's Dubai Rock Camp dot com. Dubai Rock Camp <laughs> dot com. Dubai Rock Camp dot com. So how will the Rock Camp work then? Uh, what's the plans, for the timetable for the week? Uh, we start on the 25th. We have five days. Um, we have a maximum of 16 students aged between 7 to 17. We have four mentors. Um, we're going to have four bands. So each band is going to have four girls in each band and um, probably a drummer, a bassist, a guitarist, and a vocalist. And um, in the five days that we are there, we're going to be running workshops on performance, on confidence, and most importantly, on songwriting. Um, And they are going to be writing their own song as a band and performing it to the public on the 29th of, of, uh, of August at the Jam Jar, which is a pretty cool place for kids. Uh, and that's going to be at 7 p.m. on the 29th. And we that's actually, open to the public. Uh, we actually have uh, one of the people from the Jam Jar coming into the program after 12. So we'll be nice. able to talk <laughs> a little bit about that as well. So it's quite a task mm-hmm. for someone to do that. Uh, obviously, it's inspiring confidence to try and you know, to, to say, at the end of this week, you will be performing your song that you've written live to the public it's it's quite a quite a task for them yeah um it's a task for all of us i think it's going to be a challenge for us to to lead uh the girls to that point um it's going to be a really really cool experience for all of us like i'm really excited to be going into it with really uh, a very open heart to see how to steer other people's creativity which is quite a personal um personal thing and artists are usually very possessive about their creativity and I understand why yeah so it's gonna be a, quite a quite an interesting thing to sort of steer other people's creativity to a point of finished product in such a short time but that's what our goal is and that's what our, it's been done before and we're gonna do it again and so obviously <laughs> you've taken on board the modules that were put in place at the original rock camps as you said in in the United States we've been really lucky because Zara's managed to be in contact with the original women who have created that rock camp so we were actually on Skype with them last week and um, we said hey this is how we're going about it they're like yeah go about it that way here's some tips here's some tips on the structuring um, you know and basically they've been incredibly generous with all their resources so where we have a communication with them and they in fact are doing a one-off uh, they're doing, they're doing a rock camp in Bahrain. They're being flown down to do a rock camp in Bahrain the same week we're doing ours here. Oh. So we're, we're actually setting up as many kind of social network cross connections as we can just to create a, sense, uh, just a you know, richer community. And who else is involved in mentoring? The well, group? there's myself. There's uh, Carla Saad, who's uh, an amazing singer for an R&B group called Asper Casper. 
There's Fataniza, who's, as I've said, super famous Colombian rock and roller. Uh, Franchita, who's a drummer. And, uh, yeah, that's the four of us. Yeah. Yeah, four. Yes, <laughs> indeed. And so you've all obviously been working very hard to put together this program. It's taken a lot of uh, dedication on on your side. And also, I'm, I'm thinking, a lot of group meetings <laughs> over the last few months. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been fun um, because... I think I know these girls a little bit, seeing them on the music scene, but now we get to actually hang out and put our ideas in, in a hat and see what's working. So that's fun. Um, the other thing is that because there's four of us, we are hopefully going to have to play music together, which is going to be a, a, really a first for us as well, because I've never played with the three of them before. So that's going to mm. be really exciting. So almost for you, it's going to be a, a good journey as well. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, I, I imagine we're going to be putting ourselves to the same task that we're putting the girls in. In terms of uh, people who maybe not ever thought about actually performing in a band, mm -hmm. have very much been learning an instrument at school, for example, would something like this be beneficial to them as well? Absolutely. Um, we're saying no musical background necessary. Right. Um, however, for people who do have a musical background... Um, there's something, there's in, a, a lot to be gained uh, by playing with other people because most of the time you're playing with other people. Even if you're an instrumentalist, you're going to be accompanying a vocalist most of the time, unless you're playing in very specific genres. But for any contemporary genres, you're going to be playing with other people. And starting out, there's so many dynamics to be understood from that process. So the earlier you start, you know, the, the more, the, the more you, can, you can evolve. I'd like to thank you for coming in today to tell us about the Rock Camp for Girls. Can we have some more details for people interested in maybe putting their daughters uh, in touch with you guys or maybe someone listening who fancies doing it themselves? Yeah, the best way to get in touch and to register, we've only got a couple of places left, so the earlier the better. We've got um, our Facebook group, which is Rock Camp for Girls UAE. And we've also got the website, which is DubaiRockCamp.com. And then lastly, call Zara at 055. Is she happy about you doing this? <laughs> she's put it up okay. here. 055 935 9982. So, uh, yeah, DubaiRockCamp.com is the way to go. And yeah, for registration. All right. So, as uh, Noosh said, better get your skates on if that's something you are interested. Places have filled up very quickly, and thus only a couple of spaces left. Hope uh, you have a fantastic time next week. Thank you so week. much. Uh, do wish you all the best with the project and uh, look forward to hearing all about it afterwards. Thank you so much.